Hey, what's up guys? I'm Skip and you're watching High Folds Gaming. Today's episode we're playing some Beam and G Drive and we're doing part three of Will It Hydroplane. So as always, I asked you guys to let me know if you wanted a shout out in the last video. Here is a couple people that wanted one. Bryce Walker said, shout me out. You never shouted me out. I know Bryce, you asked a couple times now. Thank you so much. If you guys don't get in and really want a shout out, do like Bryce did and keep trying, right? It says, Pl uh, please, your vids are lit. Thank you so much, brother. I'm glad you liked the videos. Here is your shout out. You guys go ahead and uh, go on over there. Send him some love. Go ahead and get a couple more going. Ultimate uh, Loganator says, shout out, please. I'm a poor channel. Go check out his poor channel. Here's uh, Andrew Baker. Shout out, please, and try the 300 mile an hour APC. You got it, brother. We're doing that today. Here we have uh, Nicholas Schwartz. Can I please get a shout out, bro? Please, please love the videos. Thank you so much uh, for watching, brother. Smashing that thumbs up button. You guys go on over there and check him out. Show him some love. Go ahead and pick out another couple here. You guys can see everybody out here. So many people that want a shout out. Here is uh, Christopher. Do the FR-17 hydroplane shout out. You got it, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, brother. And GTA God says, can I get a shout out? I really love your videos. Absolutely, GTA God. Thank you so much for watching. Let's see here. We got Owen down here. Shout me out, brother, and try the F1 car. You got it, bro. Thanks for watching. You guys are all absolutely awesome. Get your comments in now. Get your shout out requests in and let me know what you want to see on an upcoming video. All right, let's get on with the Will It Hydroplane episode number three. So in the last video, I asked you guys what you want to see on the upcoming episode, and there was a lot of people that wanted to see the F1 cars, especially the F, uh, FR-17, which is the long yellow one on the left, and then I got the FR-16, I do believe is the name of it here, there on the right, and then we have the 300 mile an hour APC. So this thing is definitely going to... Uh, <laughs> gonna be crazy if it gets up to 300 miles an hour. It's absolutely nuts. Let's go ahead and start off right here. Let's grab up this engine, dump it into gear. <laughs> it just made, completely destroyed those F1 cars. This thing is ridiculously overpowered. There's no way in, in the world you would ever need that much power, especially in an APC. But we have it. We're gonna see if we can harness it at least to the point where we can get it into some water and see what it's gonna do. See if this thing will do a little hydroplane. Now let's go back and check on those F1 cars. That was pretty impressive. Maybe we should do that one more time, but actually do it in a, with a little bit of slow mo. That might have been an even better uh, intro to this video, but oh well. Let's go ahead and uh, we got the uh, the Covet or Covet or however you want to say it is down here in the water. We're going to use that as our chase vehicle when we do the uh, if we need to let the AI drive. Now let's go ahead and free camera mode here. Back up just a little bit. <laughs> I've got to see that thing just plow through those cars again. Drop this thing into gear. There it goes. Smash those F1 cars. <laughs> it's absolutely gnarly. All right, let's get this thing underway. Back to full speed here. Let's go ahead and reset our APC. Reset our F1 cars, and let's go ahead and just put this thing to the test. We'll start off with the FR-17. So if you did request this one, thank you so much, guys, for getting involved down in the comment section. Whoa! I don't think we have very much traction out here in the rain. If you hadn't noticed by now, which you probably have, we are on a different map. Here we go. First test here. Whoop, that thing cut right under the water, which is what I was kind of expecting it to do. That arrow on it is meant to hold it on the ground, and it seems like it just uh, pushed it right through the water, no problem. Um, and this thing's still running underwater. That's perfect, perfect test vehicle for uh, this video. Um, but like I was saying, this is a different map. This is the flooded Utah map, so I'll make sure I leave a link to that down in the description below, just in case you guys want to check this out for yourself. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Start over there. Oh, what the heck happened to our suspension? I don't know, maybe it'll work better now. Let's see. I don't even think we're going to be able to make it down there. Wrecked up like this. Here we go, full throttle. Go, go, go. Oh, but that was really unimpressive. Okay. 
the heck? It did it again. Okay, so apparently, <laughs> apparently this car is just giving up on life. I don't know what happened. I figured if I moved it out of that spot, it would, uh, you know, fix itself. But all right, whatever. I guess that one's one down. We know that one's not going to be hydroplaning, especially with all that aero. Uh, I was thinking that we pr could probably take off this front section of the wing. Maybe that'll give us a little bit different result. But let's go ahead and try off the try out the FR16 here. If we can get it up to some speed, up to 100 there. All right, slow mo. Whoa! It just ripped the wing right off of it. We're definitely, uh, we're definitely skipping across the water there, boys. What do you think? That went a good little distance before it started dunking down under the water. You know, which is, uh, you know, we call this hydroplaning. It's more of the water skipping. You know, kind of like you would skip a rock across the top of a pond. You know, this whole series sort of started off when we were trying to hydroplane those. Uh, sand drag style tires on that original off-road sand drag hopper so if you guys haven't seen that episode i'll make sure i leave a link to that down in the description below that was of course episode one we did episode two a couple days ago <laughs> oh man it just blew it off that time but we actually stuck to the ground all right reset it here we're going to go ahead and set up the ai we're going to let it chase down that other car we'll see if they have a little a uh, little better luck actually getting it down there Go. Looks like it's chasing the right vehicle and everything. That's amazing. All right, slow it down. We'll get a nice front end view here. See what this F1 car is going to do. Boom, there goes the wing. <laughs> there goes the side skirts, I think. And it's definitely on top of that water. Very, very cool. You guys let me know what you think. That's uh, I, I'm thinking this is going to be one of the furthest ones. I don't know. That drag car didn't make it quite far in the last episode when we did the monster truck and the drag car. But that's uh, this definitely made a, uh, a good effort to get out there quite a ways. I have no idea what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and set this up again. I'm going to uh, just go ahead and reset this. Let the car drive back down here on its own. All right, let's try it again here. It's interesting to see if it's going to duck under the water or uh, shoot a, skip across the top of it again. Do a couple more with the F1 car here under the water again. All right, we've got to get another skip. We want to see how far this thing's going to actually go. Oh, we should actually try to take off that front nose uh, wing there too. We'll go ahead and do that. Boom, under the water again. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the menu here for it. I'm pretty sure we can get rid of that wing. Oh, that's going to reset our car way over here, though. You know that? Hmm. Front wing. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of the front wing. We'll have to fly our camera back down to where we want the car. Oop, wrong button. Fly it down there. If you guys didn't know when you're in free camera mode like this, you can hit the left shift key, and that's how you go fast. Let's go ahead and drop our car over here, reset it. All right, let's see what it'll do. Here we go. Oh, under the water again. All right, we're going to give this thing one more shot. I don't know what was going on. Maybe we are hitting at a little bit of a weird angle when I was driving it. It was uh, allowing it to actually skip across the top. Let's give it one more shot. There we go. Nice. That was a good little uh, skip right across there. It was definitely skimming across the top of the water for a good little ways. And I think it's still going. It's still after that little car because this thing's running underwater. All right, so let's go ahead and disable it. We'll leave it down here in the watery grave along with the other little hatchback. Switch on over to the 300 mile an hour APC. You guys definitely let me know down in the comment section below what you want to see next. If you did request this thing, thank you very much. I didn't even realize that there was a 300 mile an hour APC out, but apparently there is. Here it is, right here. You just smash the throttle down. That's pretty much what it does every single time, right? It gets crazy. It flips over. It goes nuts. So we're going to actually see if we can uh, keep it in somewhat of a straight line for this next test. Now, it does have thrusters as well because it is, of course, an amphibious vehicle. So once we get into the water, we'll actually be able to navigate around if we are not flipped over or gone crazy. There we go. Okay, well, did a little hydroplane in action there before it nosed under the ground. I don't know if that had something to do with the tires still spinning. Now the thrusters, I do believe, 
Yeah, I put the thrusters on A, same thing with the brake, so once we get in the water, I'll actually be able to hit that and then we'll have thrusters going on too. So I'm gonna do that on this run. As soon as we get into the water, I'm gonna hit the thrusters, if we can even make it down there. All right, whoa, we're gonna hit that rock. Oh, I switched the vehicle, dang it. All right, reset. All right, guys, so this is like take uh, or try number six, six or seven here to actually trying to get this thing down in the water. I got it down there that first try, but it's been an absolute nightmare. This thing is crazy, crazy overpowered. Let's go ahead and just do a huge burnout since we can, right? This thing is nuts. That was full throttle. If you do full throttle, there's no way you're going anywhere with this thing. So let's go ahead and try to get it down there. I'm going to get it down there nice and easy. See what we can <laughs> can't even drive it down there nice and easy. Oh man, let's go ahead and give AI a shot. I have no idea what they're gonna do because they tend to drive with full throttle or full brakes all the time. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's see. See if they have any luck with it. Yep, there we go. Brakes. Let's go up oh, too fast. It slam the brakes. Alright, I'm thinking that we need to make another. A respawn point right there to where we actually have just a straight shot into the water here we go 300 mile an hour APC hydroplaning test <laughs> there we go it definitely ricocheted off the top of the water now I am into the uh, thrusters now we are flipping over we're definitely gone out of control anybody riding <laughs> inside of this thing is not going to be happy <laughs> Let's go ahead and speed it back up here. Now we are still floating. I wonder what happens if we hit the the thrusters here. Are we going? We are going. Okay, everybody hold your breath. We'll be there in a minute. Oh, we can still turn too. So even if this thing's flipped over, it still works. Let's go ahead and uh, upright it here. Now I think that the... Um, that first time when we were actually hit the water and we still had the tires spinning I actually did a huge nose dive afterwards and I experienced that in testing that if you uh, you know kept it in drive and kept those tires spinning that it would in fact you know dive the nose down in, under the water you know when you when you do get uh, when that hydroplaning effect sort of wears off right when you start slowing down <laughs> just ripped off the back tire we didn't need that one you know, when you start slowing down, the uh, torque of those tires and everything, whatever it was, actually caused that nose to dive down under the water. So that's an interesting effect we had going on here. Uh, if you guys did suggest either one of these vehicles or any one of your suggestions, thank you so much for getting uh, those comments in on last video. Do the same for this one. I do believe uh, part four is going to be everything with sand tires. We have the Outlaw. We have the, uh, uh, what was it, the Han Hondoon dune buggy that has the sand tires on it as well as that build video that we did just the other day where we did the uh, monster d series with the sand paddle tires on it we're going to try that thing out so everything sand paddle tires in the next upcoming videos like i said you guys are absolutely awesome thanks for getting those comments in thanks for smashing that thumbs up button let me know what you want to see on an upcoming episode i'm skip and i'll see you then peace Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please smash that thumbs up button if you did enjoy it. Click over here to check out some of our other videos. I'm Skip and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.